Now raise your hand if you help dump Dee Dee. My good friend and our very own Dana established DumpDeeDee.com. It went viral. And Dana, I know, would be the first to tell you it is you that made them actually dump Dee Dee. Let me hear from you if you think that Kenneth Gladney has yet to receive justice. In keeping with my husband's amazing, freedom-loving, liberty-preserving legislative record, he wrote, big he wrote on biggovernment.com well, I can't talk today. He wrote on biggovernment.com and went on Glenn Beck and absolutely insisted that Kenneth Gladney be brought, be, be, that his people that did that to him be prosecuted. And thank you, Glenn Beck, for always uh, putting up our messages, right? Now, if you saw that show, my husband pointed out that Miss Reddington was all too happy to come in on a holiday to prosecute an innocent man who happened to be running against Dick Gephardt. Another American hero from right here in St. Louis, Bill Federer. Now, one week after John went on Glenn Beck and made these points, Reddington filed charges the day before Thanksgiving in the Kenneth Gladney case. It was first reported by our own Gateway Pundit, Jim Hoff. And even though these charges aren't enough, and we hope there will be more, it still would not have happened if you, the St. Louis Tea Party, had not written letters, called people, and made noise like we know we can count on you to do, and the rest of the country knows they can count on you to do, too. but I have another question for you. Do we have any Cardinal fans out there? Well, I owe you a big thank you. I have no doubt that in part, to, in part thanks to you, I have a new exciting role to play in the days ahead. And I want you to know that you're the first to know that I've accepted a position of political analyst on the Big 550 KTRS. I'll be joining McGraw Millhaven in the morning to talk about politics. Will you join me? A-list. My website will be live on Monday or Tuesday. I have wonderful and competent Michelle Moore making all that happen. And we will enjoy the impending political season watching closely, looking for heroes like you to add to our political A-list, and holding politicians who don't act so good accountable. So you can, you can go to drgenaloudon.com and join me on the official home of the Cardinals, AM 550, during drive time with McGraw Millhaven. Will you join me on Tuesday? <laughs> Has anyone ever heard of Sarah Josepha Hale? Well, she was somebody I hadn't either. Don't feel bad. <laughs> I, I was looking for some Thanksgiving things to read to my children to try and convey to them the importance of that holiday. And I came across her name. She was mother of five. I can relate to that. Three boys and two girls. I can relate to that, too. Uh, she had a ladies magazine, and uh, she for 30 years petitioned presidents, please would you make a national day of thanksgiving to give thanks to the almighty God that protects and covers our country. And finally, in 1863, Miss Sarah Josepha Hale received a nod from none other than President Abraham Lincoln. Our President Abraham Lincoln said that it was important to give thanks, and he knew to give thanks in all circumstances. And there was another president later on in our history who also gave a presidential address on Thanksgiving. Do you want to hear what Ronald Reagan said on Thanksgiving Day in 1985? Despite communism, nuclear threats, personal scrutiny unmatched, he chose an optimistic, he chose optimistic gratitude and he chose to focus on liberty, just like we are choosing to focus on liber liberty today. In the words of our hero, the hero of heroes, really, 
Ronald Reagan. Good morning, everyone. You know, the Statue of Liberty in this wonderful holiday called Thanksgiving go together naturally because although as Americans we have many things for which to be thankful, none is more important than liberty. Liberty, that quality of government, that brightness of mind and of spirit for which the Pilgrim Fathers braved the seas and Americans for two centuries have now laid down their lives. Today, while religion is suppressed in perhaps one third of the world, we Americans are free to worship the Almighty as we choose. While entire nations must endure the yoke of tyranny, we are free to speak our minds, to enjoy an unfettered and vigorous press, and to make government abide by the limits that we deem just. While millions live behind walls, we remain free to travel throughout the land to share this precious day with those we love most deeply, the members of our families. My fellow Americans, let us keep this Thanksgiving Day sacred. Let us thank God for the bounty and the goodness of our nation. And as a measure of our gratitude, let us rededicate ourselves to the preservation of this, the land of the free and the home of the brave. Amen. From the Reagan family to your family, and today, from the Loudon family to your family, happy Thanksgiving. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you, Gina. Everybody remember the letter T. 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 You're going to need that when you go to Metro Tix on December 3rd and order your tickets to see Glenn Beck at the Chaffetz Arena at St. Louis University. The promotion code is the letter T. Tickets are going to range from $20 to $50, and, it's going to, and he's, being, he's coming to St. Louis thanks to the Constitutional Coalition and part of their education campaign that's going on at, uh, over that period. There will be more about this on stlouisteaparty.com in the coming weeks. But remember, Glenn Beck is coming to St. Louis February 5th, and you can get your tickets starting December 3rd on Metro Tips. 